Hey guys, Richard here. So in this review, I want to talk to you about quite a nice tool called Phrase. Now in a nutshell, Phrase is actually helping you with your content research online. So if you write articles for your website, if you produce things like videos, this is going to be a really, really good tool for you because it allows you to research content in a much more efficient way. Now in this review, I'm going to take you through the sales page. I'll take you into the actual application itself. And then if you stick around, I'm going to actually talk to you about the prices and tell you where you can get a really big discount on this at the moment. So guys, just before I start, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to this channel before, don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell. And I'll let you know whenever I produce my next videos. And guys, if you're interested in Phrase at any time, go ahead and check out the link in the description below and you'll be able to pick this up for a really nice discount. So I jumped over to the sales page. Now, in essence, this is actually split into three main pieces. The first thing is the questions that people are asking online. The second thing is around being able to build content to actually answer those questions. And the third component is an interesting one. It's actually a chatbot functionality that you can put on your own sites, which will actually answer any questions that anybody who visits your site actually has. So the idea is overall that People are asking many, many questions online these days, and sometimes it's hard to research. You tend to go to places like Quora to find out what kind of questions are being answered. And this is an application that's gonna bring all of those different sources from Google search to forums like Quora, all into one place, so that you've got a really big database of those questions, and also sites that are actually answering that, that you can use to build your own content with. So I'm going to jump straight over to the application and show you how this is actually working. So I'm over on the actual members area. Now this is split into kind of two main areas. One is around the documentation and the other is around the assistant. Now, essentially what you're doing with the documents is you're creating the content. Now that's split into the questions that you would ask and then the answers that you would give within your document. Now the actual assistant piece is a chatbot that you can put on your website that actually answers questions about the content of your website. So I'll show you how that's actually working, but just before I start, I wanted to show you my kind of membership level on this. I've got a single membership, which allows me to produce 30 documents a month from this, and obviously one user. Now you can buy more than that, and it allows you to have multiple users if you've got a team of people that want to work on this. But essentially, what you need to do is come up to the content piece, go ahead and just produce a new document. If you don't know what you want to actually search for yet as far as questions are concerned you can come down to here and look at the question ideas and you can put some keywords in here and look at some question ideas there's a google traffic piece here where it's actually linked to your site and it'll give you some relevant information on your site there's a concept map here this is really cool and i've seen this in other places for a lot more money than this but if i put something like email marketing in here it will show me all the different kind of topics that come up in the email marketing niche and I can use this to figure out what I might want to talk about so if I just click one of them it gives me this concept map and I've got all of these different keywords on here that I can start figuring out whether I want to start doing content around these as, as I said I'm on YouTube so this is a really really good tool for me to figure out the type of content that might be useful for me to talk about in videos so there's two things I can do. I can go to a full wiki here. This gives me all of the different definitions around email marketing, all of the different histories, all that kind of great stuff. Or I can create a brief where it'll actually start creating a document for me around email marketing. So I just hit this very simply and create a document. And now I have on the left hand side, my actual search term and on the right hand side is actually going to start pulling lots and lots of data around email marketing for me that's showing up top of Google. So lots of different topics here, email marketing, contact, social media, email campaigning, marketing campaign. Great questions here. What is email marketing? Does email marketing work? Why is email marketing important today? And then you have some sections that is divided the content into. Then you have loads of statistics in this case, and then loads of links. 
So I can actually copy these across to a document here and start building it straight away and start using this as an article. But I want to show you a different way that you can do this. So I just go back to the home screen and then I'm going to explain exactly what that interface was. So I come over to the content piece, I go up to the question ideas and I'm going to look at, I'll, I'll keep with the, with the theme of email marketing just so it's remains relevant. So email marketing is going to be my keywords and it's going to go look for questions around that topic. So you see here straight away it's brought me 66 questions back and it's got things like what is email marketing, what um, are email marketing objectives, it's pulling out the keywords here, what is email marketing strategy, what makes email marketing so cost efficient, all of these types of questions I can start thinking about, is this something I want to write about? Because obviously this is being asked and you can see where this is being asked once I hit the start document piece. So how to do email marketing step by step, let's look at that one. So if I, if I want to now start to create content around that, all I need to do is start the document. It'll ask me what the search query is going to be, how to do email marketing step by step. I can add different search queries to this as well to expand that so I get more content. I'm going to leave it at that. And then as far as the workflow is concerned, it wants to know whether I want to create completely new content or I want to import content and use that and then just optimize it. But I want to create completely new. As far as the search type is concerned, I want the top Google results, but I can go ahead and search from a very specific domain if that's what I want to do. And then there's just a piece of housekeeping here where you can put it into certain folders and then you can go ahead and create the document. So if I do this now, you'll see what kind of results it's going to give me. So here's what it's actually giving me. Now on the left hand side here, this is the actual interface that you would build up your document. So this is where you actually do your writing and you can also add images over here as well. So if I press on here, I can add images or I can add a video. So if I have a YouTube video here, I can go ahead and paste the link in here and it'll bring that YouTube video into the actual interface for me, so which is really cool because you can use this then to pretty much just write your articles in and everything is here for you. So that's really nice. So you've, you've got that functionality there again, images and videos, but here's where my actual written content is over the right hand side. And it's splitting into topics, questions under the content brief, questions. So again, I can expand this out and view more questions. And if I hit any of these, I'll end up going back to these web various website sources and having a look at the actual content over there on the website. I have some statistics here, some links here to the various websites, and again, the overall topic. So if I look at the summaries, this will summarize the various articles for me. So again, I can go ahead and use these as my inspiration. And anytime I actually want to use these, all I need to do is add that to my document or I can open the link. So in this particular one, Neil Patel, if I open that link, I just go over to his website and I can see what information he has on his website and how he was laying this out. Now if I wanted to use it, I just add it to the document. And then one thing it does, which is really, really useful, is it keeps the original owner there as a reference. So I don't have any kind of issues with copyright because obviously I'm giving the owner credit. So. Again, I wouldn't use this word for word, but if I did want to quote Neil in any way, I would obviously keep that in to make sure I have those links there. So it'll do that and all you need to do really is go through here and look at the various pieces of content and decide which ones you want to use in your article. And you know this is already keyword rich and it's going to be great for SEO because obviously it's been taken from the top sites on Google. So this is why this is so powerful to me. You have some topics here on the top here again you can go through the various topics and streamline exactly what you want what you want to talk about so if i only ever want to talk about email marketing itself i can be pretty restrictive about the types of topics i talk about questions here again more and more content ideas much more information for you to use and then links here that allow me to see all of the various sources for this information so as far as a content research tool is concerned I think this is really, really powerful. Now, obviously I'm not gonna spend this review and go through the entire document with you and build an entire document, but essentially what you can do here is use all this information and build up your article. Once you're finished, you can export it as a link, as a Microsoft Word document, HTML text file, plain text, or a PDF. So again, really, really nice. And obviously you can see this in full screen. So as you're, as you're building it up, 
you can see what it actually looks like. As far as that's concerned, I think that uh, it's a really, really useful tool for me, especially as somebody who, who makes content for YouTube. This is going to be a really, really nice research tool for me. Now, if I just go back to the home screen, I can show you the answers piece. Now, I've had a website crawled, which is my own website which isn't really a, an article website, it's more geared towards some of the promotions that I do. But um, if I go ahead and look at the crawl itself, there's my website, The School of Nomads. If I just click on that, it'll tell you all of the different pages within your website. Now what it's doing is it's gonna collect that information and the, the assistant, which is the chatbot, is gonna have that information to use when somebody asks it a question. So it'll recognize the keywords that are being typed into the chatbot and it'll return the answers. The other thing you can do is actually train the assistant. So if you're a site that is providing some kind of service, you can actually train it. Let's just call this a nice name. You can actually train it to answer various questions. So you can see here, you can brand this particular chatbot. You have custom messages on here that you can have. Uh, there's various crawls and data sets that is in progress now. You can target certain parts of the URL that this will actually load on. And on the flip side, you may be pages on your website that you don't want it to load on, so you can obviously list them. You can put this on at certain times of the day. You can always show it minimized. You can always show a greeting message. Lots and lots of nice functionality here. Again, live chat, you can actually integrate it with various live chat desks. So if you have staff that are on live chat all the time, you can integrate it with that. You can capture various emails within the chatbot. You have an exit pop-up. I have chatbots on my own where as soon as somebody goes to leave the page, the actual pop-up comes up and the chatbot starts, which is a nice feature. And it just catches people's attention really well. And there's some other settings here. Now, as far as the pricing goes for this, it's kind of over three tiers if you look at the main website. So the basic is $39 a month billed annually or $44 a month billed monthly. The second tier, which is the growth, is $99, which is per month billed annually or $114 billed monthly, which is three users and unlimited documents. And then last kind of the enterprise version is $200 per month billed annually, which is three users, unlimited documents, 500 answers per month on the answer engine, and $50 per extra answer. These two give you 100 answers. So if you have a website where you have lots and lots of visitors, and you're expecting to get lots and lots of questions, then you would want to obviously buy the higher tier of membership. But Having said that, over on AppSumo now, they've got a really, really nice deal. So I'm gonna jump over on AppSumo, and I'm actually gonna show you these prices on AppSumo. So again, if you check out the link in the description below, you'll come over to AppSumo, and this is the price at the moment. So this is $69, a one-time purchase for that one user and 30 documents a month. So if I just remind you, that was $44 a month. So this is much, much cheaper at the moment and a really big discount. And the double, which is the three users and unlimited documents per month, is $138 and again it was that $114 a month so you're saving a substantial amount of money with that and obviously this is the website of phrase so these prices are still current if somebody came straight here so this is a really really good deal to kind of jump on now if this is the kind of thing that interests you now what do you get for that money you get a lifetime access to the phrase basic plan you obviously must redeem your code within 60 days it's super easy to do all you need to do is actually come into the site. Once you do come in, come over to the settings tab, go to subscription, and if you paste your code in there, your AppSumo code, then it'll actually straight away upgrade you to the level of membership you bought. So you get all the future growth plan updates. It's GDPR compliant. Obviously you need to be GDPR compliant for collecting emails. It's only for new users, 60 day money back guarantee, and the features in all the plans are you get the question research, the content briefs, the content curation, a limited question research query. So if you do want to actually produce documents, you can still use it to actually research those various questions. A limited concept maps, which is a feature I really like. You got those integrations. You have the answer engine, which is a hundred answer per month for lifetime. So you can use that chatbot. And for most websites, that's probably gonna be enough. It's only gonna be the bigger companies need more than that and you get beta access to the voice search optimization, which is a feature I didn't actually see on the plan. So it's something that I'll have to research as well. So guys, so if we're looking to the actual reviews at the moment, this has got 
four and a half tacos, 83 reviews. And I'm looking through the various reviews and this is getting a lot of great feedback because obviously I think this is a really nice application if you want to go ahead and do that content research. You can probably tell I'm a bit of a fan of this application. It's definitely something that I'm gonna be using in my own content research. If you are interested in checking this out, go ahead and look at the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads slash phrase. You'll be taken straight to AppSumo and you can go ahead and grab your copy. So guys, thanks for listening. My name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to our channel before, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I produce new content. And until next time, guys, Take care.